These Gypsy Rose Halloween costumes are savagery. Have y'all seen this one? This is so savage and I love it. I remember my mom had gave me this little glass house and she said, this one day this will be real. And now it finally is. The level that y'all are out here playing on this here internet is taking me out. This Halloween costume. First of all, the little girl was so into it. She said, the little glass house. And it finally is. <laughs> that baby and her mama are so funny. First of all, the fact that her mama is such a savage. I'm living for it. You know what I'm living for? The fact that people are exposing her for who she really is and making her into a joke. And she needed that. Now, listen, I know a lot of y'all are going to be like, oh my gosh, y'all are so mean. I can't believe you would make fun of Gypsy Rose. That is so horrible. Why would you even do that? That is horrible. You are horrendous. You're a despicable human being. No, she's a fraud. Let's talk about it. I'm going to give y'all the history behind this because y'all not about to shame this lady and her baby, okay? This is the chromosome disorder that Gypsy Rose Blanchard has, which is 1Q21.1 microdeletion. Now, y'all are probably going to be like, Nina, you just made this because that's Gypsy Rose. No, it's not Gypsy Rose. This is the poster child for this chromosome disorder. And you guys see, I got it from rarechromo.org. Okay, so y'all know. Now, let's put a picture of her and Gypsy Rose next to each other so we could compare. Boom, here you go. Tell me, the, twin, where have you been? Tell me I'm lying. Okay, so you guys know the chromosome disorder that she has. Okay, let me show you the symptoms. Here y'all go with the symptoms. Um, developmentally delayed, intellectual disability, uh, weak muscle tone, poor growth, seizures, behavioral problems, uh, hearing impairment, joint laxity, um, even the issues with her eyes, the small bulb head, that all comes with this chromosome disorder. Now, you guys are going to say, well, why was she in a wheelchair? Why did she have a feeding tube? The failure to thrive was part of the feeding tube. And the wheelchair is similar to the way a baby would or a toddler have, would have a stroller. You know, when they get tired, they get weak, they get in a stroller. So the wheelchair was for that purpose. Now, did her mom embellish it? Absolutely. Was her mom malingering? Absolutely. But was her mom uh, abusing her? No, not any physical abuse or anything like that. She was literally letting her use the wheelchair around the clock where she should have just had her use it when she needed it or as needed. She had her use it in public for malingering purposes. Now, y'all are going to say, Nina, how do you know she has this chromosome disorder? Now, I, I do have her medical record, but I don't know if I could show it online. But I have proof because her dad admitted to it. They had done some tests and found out she had a chromosome disorder that was causing all of her uh, functions from developing her digestive system and her muscular system. So you're probably sitting there thinking to yourself, where did the Munchausen by proxy come from? Like, where did that diagnosis come from? Was her mom diagnosed or was she not? Her mom was never diagnosed with Munchausen by proxy, but her defense team came up with that to get her off the charges. Now, she, obviously, she didn't get off the charges. She did take a plea deal, but that plea deal was given to her because they believed in mitigating circumstances, which was the purpose of her defense, but she admitted to that. So let's watch that. My two attorneys are telling me that my mother has something called Munchausen by proxy. And y'all are going to be like, oh my gosh, but why are y'all still making fun of her? This woman used a man with autism, a low IQ, and mental health issues that was collecting a disability check and manipulated him into thinking he had to protect her, so he unalived her mom. That's why. She is an awful person. And the fact that she is being made into a joke, she actually deserves it. Not only that, she is naming her daughter Aurora, which is Sleeping Beauty's name. What did she do to her mom? 
And where did she do it? When her mom was peacefully sleeping. Now, on the Nick Vile show, they asked her and Ken, what were they going to be for Halloween? She said Forrest Gump. She's playing in our face. Because you know Forrest Gump was special. She knows she has Nick sitting in there and he's special needs. She is playing in our faces and she deserves to be a joke. So y'all better not come for this mama and her baby because they're funny. And they are bringing awareness, whether they know it or not. And kudos to them because it needs to be done. Okay? Gypsy Rose should be the most worn Halloween costume as a joke because she is a joke. I said what I said. You can be offended by it. You cannot be offended by it. That's your business. It's whatever. But kudos to this mom and her beautiful baby. This is their page or her page. I'm going to tag her down below. And y'all have a great day. Bye-bye for now.